Hey, Hacksmith, do a kickflip. Hey guys, on this episode of Make On this episode of Make It Real, we made a fully electric skateboard that can kickflip on command, which means all I have to do is press this button. Man, this game takes me back. I used to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater all the time back in grade school. When I heard Activision was coming out with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 Remastered, I almost had a nostalgia heart attack. And then when Activision reached out to ask us if we could build a self-kick-flipping skateboard for the release of the game, well, my 10-year-old self would not believe what I'm doing today. Now, I never could do a kickflip back in the day. I wonder if I can do one now. Go, Skater James. All right, if I wanna kickflip anytime soon, I'm gonna need this board to do two different things. Number one, it needs to drive by itself. Number two, it needs to be able to kickflip. Now, making it drive by itself, that's the easy part. You can get DIY electric skateboard kits online quite easily. You need a speed controller, battery, and then we've got this microcontroller. The challenging part here is we wanna be able to control it with a PlayStation 4 controller, which means we need to communicate with the board over Bluetooth. Hey Ben, you think you can do that for me? What? All right, now the fun part. I need to figure out how to make this thing kickflip. All right, test number one. Let's prove that we can do a kickflip by putting some amount of force onto one of the bottom edges of the board. So hopefully if I go like this, triple kickflip, first try. All right, that's good. Let's see what else we can try. Oh, it's getting more power. Maybe. Yeah. Let's try something a bit more explosive. Oxyacetylene balloon. Perfect. Safety first, guys. All right, that's not gonna work either. We need some more serious firepower. So this G-Class rocket engine is the largest rocket engine you can buy without needing a professional rocketry license. I strapped two of these to my wrists to try and fly like Iron Man. So I think it might cause us to flip. I think for this one, we should probably go outside because uh, yeah, rocket engines. It's armed now, which means when I press this big red button, that rocket, and hopefully the skateboard is doing a kickflip. Three, two, one, fire! Ah! Holy ah! Ah! That's a world record right there. That was like, uh, I don't even know what you call numbers that high. All right, we've got the airbag now. Three, two, one. I mean, I, I guess that worked. It flipped, but I don't know how we're gonna mount that to the bottom of the board. Springs! Ow. All right, Ben, what do you have for me? So, I have the hub motors communicating with the electric skateboard speed controllers, okay. and they're being commanded by an Arduino that's been paired to this PS4 controller here. Awesome. Give it a shot. So I can just... Woo! 
Jeez. Maybe not that hard. Good. Ooh. Yeah. All right, I can work with this. I'm gonna take this, put it on a skateboard. In the meantime, I need you to make a giant uh, mouse trap. What? Awesome. All righty, I got all the parts. Now, we just need to build an electric skateboard. So the deck is actually a Birdhouse official Tony Hawk deck made for the game, which is pretty cool. So let's start assembling it. Huh, that must be the 3D printer. All right, we've got our electronics enclosure straight off the 3D printer, which means we're ready to install it. Now we can install the electronics. So we'll start with the charging port. For more information on how the self kick flipping circuit works, check out our page on maker.io. Disclaimer, Hacks with Industries, DigiKey, and Activision are not responsible if you build your own self kick flipping skateboard and get hurt using it. The team here are professionals who often get hurt, and trust me, it sucks getting hurt. We didn't actually have a switch that was high enough current rated for the battery, so we're actually using a battery connector as our main power switch, and it plugs in right over here. All right, so we've got some lights. Blue light, blue light, green light. I think it'll work. Ha <laughs> ha! It's done, let's try it out. That was awesome. Now, we just need to make a flip. I gotta go check on Ben and see how my mousetrap idea is going. All right, so Ben sent me a design for his metal mousetrap. Let's take a look. All right, well, that looks like a skateboard. Here's the uh, kick flipping mechanism. We've got two really big springs. Oh, look at that. I think that's actually the archery trigger release we used from the Spider-Man web shooter project with JT, which didn't work so well. Hopefully we have better luck this time. When you pull these back, it should do a kickflip. But wait, how do you even do a kickflip? Well, it's a good thing I have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 Remastered Edition. Let's try it out. There are links in the description below if you want to try it yourself. All right, so to do a kickflip in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, all you have to do is hold down the jump button and then press the flip button as you're holding left. And bam, kickflip. 360 flip. So that's exactly how we're gonna make our skateboard kickflip as well. But let's get serious. Woo! All right, let's go build this thing. So this is the largest torsion spring that you can buy off the shelf and it's not big enough. So we're gonna make our own. To do that, we're gonna use this spring steel, which is incredibly difficult to bend. So we're gonna use this mandrel on the lathe and the power feed. Alrighty, time to assemble our steel mouse trap. All right, it's built. Let's test it out. Oh God, this is terrifying.
I got it. Say goodbye, C4 can. Oh. We're doing it! It wasn't that bad. This one might send shards of plastic at people. And that, kids, is why you don't make a metal mousetrap. All right, we've got the kick-flipping mousetrap mechanism done, which means we just have to install it. Plug her in. All right, that's the last screw, which means test it out. Oh, this thing is terrifying. All right, let's see if it kickflips. <laughs> that was freaking sweet. It works perfectly. Now we just need to put some grip tape on here. I'll be ready for the big test. All right, today is the day I learn how to kickflip using a self-kickflipping skateboard. It should be as simple as jumping in the air, pressing the button, and then landing on the board again. My first kickflip at age 30. Oh, what? My first kickflip at age 30. Woo! Two for two. Give him a call. Dude, it's Tony Hawk. Hey James, it's Tony Hawk. I just want to congratulate you on your very first kickflip at age 30. I know that you didn't necessarily do it yourself, but you kind of did because you designed a board that would do it for you. So I am impressed. Um, I, I never thought I'd see the day that a, a, a board would be self kickflipping. So congrats on that. Um, it actually kind of sounds scary, uh, but you did it, I saw it, congrats. Thanks, Tony. That was Tony Hawk. So we test it in the shop, let's see how it does in real life. Woo! All right, let's try a double kick flip. Hey, Hacksmith, do a kickflip. All right, this was an awesome build. Huge thank you to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 Remastered Edition for sponsoring this video. Check it out in the links in the description below. Let's see if I can kickflip right here. Ah! Oh! Mm 
ว่า